Yeah, and the World Health Organization says more than 3,000 people now in West Africa have been infected by the Ebola virus so far. Health authorities have been battling this outbreak for months now, but with this latest update, it looks like they're losing the fight. Well, the WHO says the situation is going to get worse before it gets better. Unless further action is taken, it's estimated more than 20,000 people will contract the disease in the coming months. But there is hope, as an experimental drug proven to be effective in monkeys will soon be tested on humans. Our Kwan Zua tells us more. The WHO warned on Thursday that the number of Ebola cases could rise to 20,000 as the infection is spreading at an uncontrollable speed. The virus has already killed more than 1,500 people, and there are at least 3,000 reported cases as of now. But the health agency believes the actual number could be up to four times higher than that. A high-level official at the WHO says the agency has been caught off guard by the scale of this outbreak. That's not saying we expect 20,000 cases. That is not saying we would uh, ac accept, more importantly, 20,000 cases. I think that's completely unacceptable. The WHO is calling for a full-scale humanitarian response to the crisis, and that's going to require a lot of money. Going forward, this is going to cost, we estimate, $489 million over the next six months. Um, it is a big operation. We're talking um, well over 12,000 people operating over multiple geographies in very, very difficult and high-risk circumstances. It's expensive. There's some hope on the horizon, though. An experimental Ebola vaccine developed by U.S. and British-based health institutes will soon be tested on humans. Tests have already proven successful on monkeys, and the initial human trial will be conducted on around 20 healthy adults at a National Health Institute of Health clinic in Maryland next week. If everything goes well, the second phase is expected to take place in Africa after strict scientific and ethical standards are met. Kwan Sua, Arirang News.